Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universal House 4 as Prussia. As promised, I have designed a peace deal during uh, well, the break between the episodes, so that I wouldn't bore you too much with it, and I think I'll make this episode a little bit longer because the last one was so short. Anyway, I decided to take these provinces from the Pope, that will let me spread the empire along the area. Um, well, I can't bring it to Provence, but once I take uh, the Bale Balearic Islands I will be able to, and that will happen in the next war probably. Uh, I was thinking of taking some stuff here, but then I decided to take more from the Pope himself. And we're going to spread the Empire here, and he then here as well, and here and here. Then I'm going to release Sicily and Naples. And Corsica and Sardinia and so on. Um, right. Also, I have maximized the prestige I can get from that. Uh, also, that is not... Oh, wait a minute. I only get... Okay, this changes things. I didn't pay enough attention. I thought I would be getting... 20 prestige, I only get 10, that is not enough. I need 14. Alright, let's adjust this a little bit again. I'm going to decrease this amount. And I'm going to enforce military access, because that gives more prestige for the same price. And also I'm going to give up their claims in Austria, that gives me slightly more prestige, 10.9. Hmm, can I get anything else? Can I get more? Not really. Well, let's, let's give up their claims in Austria. I could probably just take more territory, but... Seriously, this is just 2% war score. Well, that is too much of an extension for me. Unless I didn't take Slant, I took Bari instead. No, no. That won't work. That won't work. Although that's good. Yeah, I was supposed to have this designed, and I don't. I can go up to 61% over extension. This gives me 60.6, .6, so it's good. I can take Calabria instead of Consenza. Maybe it's better, because I will control a part of the crossing. Right. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. I think it's acceptable. All right, so, with these taken... Well, alternatively, I could take Messina. Yeah, I know I, I was supposed to have this done. No, no, let's take these. Then I can spread the empire over here when I take... Uh, if I don't take these directly from the Ottomans and take these instead. Okay, that's as much prestige as we can take. We'll get some more over the next uh, few years before we attack France, hopefully. And yeah, this is our peace deal with the Pope. Let's go. Perfect. So, now, autonomy. Don't need it. Coring. Do need it. Let's start with this. Yeah, and here. Provence can wait. Maybe Provence shouldn't wait. Yeah, let's do Provence next. And our overextension is 99.6, which is completely acceptable. Now, I need more prestige. I need to get to 100 prestige and have France go below 100 prestige, which will be difficult. So immediately, I am going to spend some papal influence to bless my ruler and get more prestige. That lasts for 20 years. Well, I am... Yeah, let's do that. If I will get to 100 soon, and if France loses, uh, if France goes below, at least for a little while, we'll be able to attack them and claim their throne. Well, in the opposite order, of course. Can I make you lose prestige somehow? Well, I am building a spy network, so maybe I can discredit them somehow. Also, Muscovy has this put the succession, which means it's possible I will get a union over them which would make conquering Muscovy that much faster and easier. Right, um, I guess I could increase my military tech level. How are my generals? I have as many as I can. Let's decrease maintenance. And do we still have trouble with rebels in the new world? Yes, we do. That's... I actually made too many troops in the area. And here... Yeah, that's why mothballing armies is necessary. I don't know why they don't want to add it. I would just mothball the European armies and keep the mercenaries operating. 
I think I might I should probably make an adjustments video like a Roomba does and ask for that. Anyway, let's select our armies. This one's too small. Oh right, I didn't merge them properly. And I'm going to send you all through automatic transport back home. You can use automatic transport, we have the time. Let's pause. Tariffs on sugar. No. I need to observe France's prestige very closely. If they go at least a little bit below 100. Luxembourg. Royal marriage died out. That's fine. I wanted the royal marriages so that I can maybe inherit uh, those guys. That are the electors. So let's redo the one with the Palatinate, unless I already had one. I'm not sure. If we could inherit an elector, we could buff our status to a kingdom, which I used to be. Loyal subjects. Diplo rep or diplo power? Diplo power. More useful right now. I mean, diplo rep is nice too. Let's keep a close eye on France. I can always beat them up somehow. I need to break my alliance in the next few years if I am to be able to attack them. Also, I have capped on military power. Revolt. Why? You didn't have a lot of overextension, did you? I guess I'll just make a um, colonial marines regiment. Yeah. Uh, technology, military, yes, sure. It's a bit ahead of time, but not so much. Doing quite well technologically. Come on, Muscovy. Get my dynasty. You and your well-advised rulers. I can convert provinces. Should I? Mateva. Fetishist. Oh, right. I have enough power to actually start coring some more stuff. Uh, let's go to the coring screen. These are already being cored. Wonderful. Here we go. Mm, Provence. Revolt. Whose is it? Is it ours? Huh. I do have an army in the vicinity. It's a bit far. Would you like to give me access to access, access, Cusco? You would. Wonderful. Let's kill them. Yeah, I'm mainly mm, maintaining control of the colonial stuff just to, you know, control the world, not to get any economic benefits or anything. Mm, I think I've caught Crete already, so let's convert it now. All those conversions will give me a lot of paper points. Come on, France, I need to discredit you. Let's go fleet basing. Bless ruler. Wait a minute. Papal blessing that only works for one ruler, right? How long? For how long have you had it? Curia controller. Can I assassinate the Pope, maybe? Probably not. Who's the Pope? F oh, sorry, that's Austria. 61. It's not very likely that the Pope will be, you know, dead. I almost clicked the reform by mistake. Mm. I guess I could try to become the next Curia controller. It's the highest chance. The Pope has the highest chance. Yeah, why not? Let's invest some. If this is going to give us a union over France, it's well worth it. I should probably break our alliance, shouldn't I? Also improve our relations. We gained a core province. Great. The Pope wants military access. Who are you fighting? I'm going to give it to them. Why not? And some more coring. In here. And that's all the cores uh, we actually need to get rid of our extension. Perfect. Let's check our armies in North America. Yeah, we're spending a lot on those mercenaries, but um, fortunately we are so very, very rich. So, 
So, France. Hmm. Power projection. Maybe the power projection will go down. Not likely, but possible. Uh, let's wait with that diplo power. Unless it unlocks any actions. Corrupt officials. I don't know what that does. I need to build up my spy network in France by a lot. Russia occupied Umatilla. Or is it Umatia? I'm not sure. Okay, seems like I will be able to decrease my maintenance soon. Let's give you a general. Kill those rebels for my subject. Establish a penal colony. Lose admin power or lock on rest and settler, settler increase. Sure, whatever. Don't really mind that. Let me check on my armies that I sent home. None of you have yet arrived. Right, kill the rest. It was quite easy. Master of Mint has died. I was not using him, was I? Okay, so we are capped on prestige. We have 100 prestige and still gaining it. Now all we need is for France to drop some prestige. Oh, I can claim throne. It's enough if we have enough. It's enough if we have the same prestige. Perfect. Let's claim the throne of France. They're going to break the alliance now. Are you going to break the alliance? Will I get the truth if you break the alliance? Can I just insult them? Should I insult them? I probably should. Let's insult France. I hope they break the alliance now. I don't think I will get a truce if they do. Yes, alliance breaking. Perfect. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, Prussian particularists. The problem is I might get excommunicated soon. I'll improve um, relations with the Pope, but I don't think that will matter. Prussian particularists, really? Natal and Mud Solo. Oh, I think I'm converting Natal. That might be the problem. It's almost done. It's almost done. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I guess I could use, you know, harsh treatment. Claims fabricated to the knights. You don't stand a chance. Castile has disputed the succession. Interesting. If only you didn't hate me so much. Maybe I can change that? Probably not, but maybe. Here we go. Improve relations with Castile. I mean, I can just conquer them, but it will be easier this way. Come on. Uh, right, colonialism against Portugal. I didn't know it was enough to match their prestige. Because we both have a hundred. Come on, break the alliance. Yes, perfect. Do I have a truce? I do. I do have a truce. Damn it. Have a royal marriage. I will keep the royal marriage. I will break military access. Cancel military access. Let's see how long our truce is. Truce is until, mm, yeah, for five years. That is perfect because we can still attack them in five years because the mm, heir has a weak claim. And a lot of cores have been made. That means we'll have a colonial nation soon. Probably. Doesn't it? Yes, California. Wait a minute, I did one here as well. All oh, right, it was occupied by the enemy for a second. It'll soon also become a colonial nation. New Prussia. Oh, it belongs to New Prussia, so I should not have caught this one. Do I still need to protect them? You know what? Here, do autonomous rebel suppression. Why the hell not? Same with you guys. Uh, we'll see how well it works. Muscovy and Castile still options. Castile probably not, but Muscovy is one. Let's do this one. Italian engineer, military power for money. Yeah, sure. We have a lot of money. I don't need that policy that increases my prestige anymore. I can only disable it in mm, eight years. Well, I'm fine with that. 
Okay, as soon as France and no longer has a truce with me, I need to attack them. I could do it faster. I could do it earlier. If, and if they lose the air, I will, because I could lose everything, all the opportunities, if that happened. Uh, but I don't want to lose prestige for no good reason. Prussian Particularists. Um, rebellion, Risk in Natal, and Mat Solo. I need to increase autonomy in those provinces. Let's look for Natal. Oh, F. And Mat Solo. And that fixes it. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Fetishist Zealots. I, I didn't realize I had them. Um, colonial Marines, maybe? Let's just do it manually. That should be sufficient, if I give them a general. Uh, right, yeah, controlling the colonial stuff is quite problematic. Prussian Louisiana. Should I convert Matsolo? I guess. Particularists um, are no longer rebelling. I'll wait until this dissipates. Let's convert something else, like um, Cornwall. Also, I should probably release some people once I've called everything. Some more Imperial vassals. Come on, Muscovy. That's a weird dynasty. Knorrig, I, I, or Norig, which one is that? Don't know. I should probably improve relations with them. Don't care about the natives rising. Um, let's do all the British provinces. That I'm probably going to release soon. And the truce with Prussia ends in 1701. Alright, let's see if the autom autonomous rebel suppression works out. It should. Arkans is colony damaged. Don't care. Not in the slightest. Right, let's have a look at our armies. Have you arrived home yet? Some of you. Staking the ships forever to bring them in. Let's move you out of here now. You are sampling new religions. Of course you can. We are a benevolent ruler after all. Mm -hmm. I should probably invest in Diplotech because I'll cap. Otherwise, can't really do anything with admin. I mean, we're ahead of time on all of these, so I'm just doing... Ah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Damn it. What I should have done with my Diplo points was um, spend them, for example, on adding more, prom more cultures to the accepted ones. Let's add the Saxon one. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Oh, Moscovy got an air, but Hungary doesn't have an air anymore. Well, let's work on that then. Did Muscovy get my uh, dynasty? Probably not. No, no, they didn't. I'll just have to conquer them then. Hungary, how about a royal marriage? Palermo, Napoli, yeah. Some more cores done. Oh, right, all the colonial nations have already formed, so I should probably just core the things that I have. All the things that I have, I mean. Let's merge you guys and get a general to you. I'm going to mm, get him out of this army. You probably just walk. Let's forget the automatic transport. You can just walk. Why did I do that? Who else is using automatic transport and shouldn't? You. You don't need automatic transport. You can just walk. Perfect. So, who is still using automatic transport? You are. Good, good. And you are. Yeah, these two. These two really should do that. I guess I could attack England again. Oh, the truce is about to expire. They might even join a coalition against me. But I need to deal with France first. Coalition will not be a big deal. Not against us. 
Right, uh, where were we? Paper C. They might excommun excommunicate me. I need to increase... Um, I need to become the Papal Controller or increase my relations. And I am trying to do that. Hungary? Yeah, we would get your dynasty if you died. Or you would get my dynasty if you died. Oh, I forgot I had those ideas. Damn it. Probably should have done that a while ago. I only wanted the first two. Unless there are some nice policies. Let's see. Diplomats and will travel on full time. Annexation cost. Morale. Quantity. None of these are that appealing. Let's fill the first two and that will be it. The Netherlands sent us a gift. How nice of them. Okay. Um, since those don't cause me overextension, I'll only call them after I get the next, uh, you know, idea. And it will soon be time to release some Imperial vassals. Some more Imperial vassals. Truth that England has ended. Alright, France is still the people controller, which is unfortunate, because I did invest quite a lot of points into that. Let's get down here. Where is that army? Here it is. Here we go, have a general, and attack those guys. Did we lose a general? Yes, we did. Let's get a new one. Perfect. We should beat them. They're just zealots. Yeah, they're not Prussian. Oh! Oh, we might actually lose. Well, this is difficult territory, and they did get quite a good general, so... It does make sense. Let's retreat. Get you some more troops. Should be sufficient. Right, where were we? France. Truce ends in... Three years. And there's a large attack. Right, well, so what I was supposed to do is release some Imperial subjects now. Uh, but before we can do that, I need to add some people to, to the Empire. For example, these guys. All the provinces that we just acquired will become Imperial provinces. And I cannot add Provence, unfortunately, because we didn't get the Balearic Islands. Um, also here, yes, this as well. And you. Let's add all of them. So we can maybe release some people. Let's see if I didn't forget anything. This is not ours, is it? No. Right, Provence can't be added. Oh, Ferrara, of course. Ferrara and Venice. Can I add Crete? Yes, I can. I cannot add these because they're not... Oh, well, some of them are Christian already because we have converted them. Some, like Constantinople, are not yet Christian. Okay, let's see. Have I forgotten to add anything? Doesn't seem like it. Crete is in the Empire. Everything is in the Empire. Perfect. Okay. Um, and these can't be because it's not Europe. Alright, so what we'll do now is release some Imperial vassals. That will increase our power even more. To do that we must go here. Release. And only those small ones, like Genoa. Genoa and Corsica would get it. Uh, or rather, sorry. Friuli, I forgot to add Friuli. Yeah, that's an important one as well. Let's make sure to release them in the right order. For example, if I release Venice first, we wouldn't be able to release Achillea, so we need to release Achillea first. Uh, let's see. Achillea. Here we go. And it is an Imperial Prince. Perfect. Who's next? Mm. Novgorod is too big, it's not worth it. Genoa and Corsica. Ferrara. Next. Imperial, right? Yes. Mm, Brittany, not that worth it, I think. Wales? Yes, of course. They'll be the wrong religion, though. I can force them to change the religion. How long will it take to convert? Well, I can just wait. Maybe I should just wait. 
I could release Lithuania. Are they the right religion? Yes. Let's release with Lithuania. Here it is. Did I add it to the Empire? Yeah. See, every every vassal makes us more powerful. Mm, Sardinia? Wales, Crimea, Gold, Meath. Meath? Oh, cool. Sure, let's release Meath. Yeah, no, let's forget the faith thing. I'll just force them to convert. You're Imperial, right? Yes. What did you black flag? Hmm. Uh, who else should I release? Yeah, let's release Wales. Hmm. Sicily? Not Provence, though, not yet. And Naples. Yeah, Napoli and Salento. Oh, so you're not getting uh, Calabria, then? I thought you would. Naples? Sardinia. So sorry, uh, all right, they get Sardinia. This is quite understandable. Did I add those to the Empire? I think so. Sardinia, Venice, and Genoa. Sardinia. Venice and Genoa. What's Genoa here? I'd also release Bulgaria, but I don't want to because that will cut me off from direct land connection. I don't have it right now, but I will once I conquer the rest of Poland through here. Okay. And they are all imperial vassals, right? Let's make sure. You are, and you are. Right, um, Milan is our next target. We'll first release. Um, Savoy from there, and then Milan itself. And you are, and you are Imperial as well. I thought Naples would have maintained the core in Calabria. Maybe the Pope forced them to renounce it. Yeah, so we have more Imperial vassals. And again, this makes us more powerful because each vassal gets a base amount of income and manpower. So even though we don't control the stuff directly, we are more powerful because we have vassals. Anyway, it's time to end the episode now. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.